Hi guys, today we're going to read the book, Don't Feed the Worry Buggy. On a bench in a park, a bright sunny day, Vince, the monster of the worry, let time slip away. He looked at the clock, it was quarter past two, when Vince started to think about all he must do. He had homework and laundry, he needed to clean pants. It must bake some cookies for the worry who dance. Then Vince started to wonder, did he leave the light on? Was his backside too puffy? Where had all his friends gone? And his words kept growing, till he heard a soft buzz. That made goosebumps appear for the new what it was. There was only one preacher that made such a sound. Around monsters that worry, it could often be found. Some call it the worry bug, and this is for sure. If you feed it a worry, it will always want more. Bzz, bzz. Vince heard as its noisy wings flapped. It flew up and down as he shooed and he clapped. It flittered and fluttered around Vince's ear. In the blink of an eye, more worries appear. Did he feed his fish tap? Did his dog get a bone? Did he send all his wood mail? Did he bring his bike home? Should he go to the movies? Would he get a good grade? Will the weather be nice for the wood town parade? And with every new worry that came Vince's away, the worry bug shouted, Hip, hip, hooray! For the more that Vince's worry, the more the big grew. The nibbler and munched on his worry filled stew. Vince said to the worry bug, Perhaps you should leave. He asked quiet politely and even use please. Yes, the worry bug stayed, for two of them knew that Vince would still worry that's what he do. As they turned to night, Vince got ready to bed, the worry bug and lay next to his head. But it's busy and kept Vince going to sleep, so he tossed and he turned, and he tried to count sheep. While thoughts of what if, could be, maybe, might, made Vince worry more, he was worried all night. When morning arrived, Vince looked up and oh, he gasped. The worry bug had grown. It had happened so fast. It used to be tiny and announced quite, quite small. Not it cover his kitchen, the ceiling and the wall. <gasps> How big is his worry bug? The Bug's belly gurgled. What is that? Oh, big. Full of worries it was. No longer could Vince sweep in the under the rug. Its buzzing went on and Vince started to feed about all of things that hadn't happened just yet. No cookies were baked. The laundry had piled. Vince hadn't done his homework in a such long while. Enough! 
Wings exclaimed. There must be a way to get rid of the worry bug. It can no longer stay. So Vinci went to the library to read and take notes about catapults, cranes, wagons and goats. He plotted and mapped out a worry bug graph. Then call in the experts, the worry bug staff. Together they stood this big, grounding beast and built a bug net out of Vince's bed sheets. They were having such a fun, Vince was worried no more, and soon he was baking, doing his chores. But just when Vince thought his work was complete, the worry bug buzzed, I need something to eat! Vince looked at the bug, it was once again small, for while Vince had been busy, he hadn't worried at all. You have ignored me all day, the tiny bug said, and you haven't been worried, so I haven't been fed. Then the bug stomped its feet and buzzed all the more. Vince took a firm stand and showed the door. I've got things to do. I must work. I must play. I am not going to worry, so go on on your way. Bzz, bzz. Wings heard as the bug flew about, still trying to make one last word come out. It flittered and fluttered around Vince's ear, yet Vince wouldn't give it end soon disappear. Vince knew very well that this wasn't the end. The bug might be back if he wore it again. But Vince would be ready should he hear that bzz, bzz, to say no to the worry bug simply because Vince had learned that his worries got bigger each day when he allowed the worry bug to nipple away. So, to all of your worries, Vince wants you to know, don't feed the worry bug or your worries will grow. And the end. So, the lesson of the book, don't feed your worry bug. If you worry too much, he's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and won't have time for you to do things that you like. Just don't worry. Keep going, okay? i talk to you next week. Bye.